What's up everyone? Good morning. John here with Johnny Trucking Outdoors. Hope you guys are having a great day. I certainly crashed the drone in the tree. Let's try to get it out now. Guys, just remember, pick up your trash out here. Leave it better than what it looked like prior. And you don't want Smokey the Bear calling you out on your fires. So make sure you put them out. Welcome back to another episode of Giant Trucking and Outdoors. My name is John, and here on the channel we will be camping and cooking and fishing and doing everything outdoors. I just drove about four hours up here to Manistee, which is in the more northern area of the lower peninsula of Michigan. And I haven't been up here in this area for the last couple of years, but I have a lot of memories as a child up here camping and cooking and fishing and I caught the biggest rainbow trout that was a native one it wasn't from a farm and it was 20 21 inches long up here here behind me and I'll show you once I get down to it you have to climb down to the river is the Masty suspension bridge and that bridge is 245 feet long it was built back in 1996, which it's an awesome bridge, and I'll throw up my drone and get some footage of that to show you guys, as well as I just picked up a fly rod from Walmart, and I've done fly fishing in the past, but my reel broke recently, so I was going to go ahead and, uh, I mean, why not? I picked up another fly rod I still have a six weight airflow and I can always change the reel onto the six weight airflow. The reel is what snapped on my previous rod that I had and I bought that back when I was like 10 years old. So I've got trout and bass and pike and other stuff on that fly rod but I had so many people requesting me go fly fishing with a fly rod here on the channel I was like perfect area perfect place I already ran down to the river the Manistee River and saw some trout so I'm gonna get this uh, rod set up and then I'll get fishing I even put my kayak on top of my truck I probably will not take it out on this adventure just because we're on a river and if you float down a couple miles how do you get back up and the current is extremely strong so This is my Ford F-150 2010. Has a large topper on the top, which is perfect for me because I'm six foot six. I'm able to semi stand up back there and sleep back there quite well, which I'll show you my setup now. So I got a bed, a little sleeping pad with a sleeping bag and a pillow. Just have a cooler filled with food. And then a bit of clothes and other fishing gear and the whole back of the truck is filled with tents and more camping stuff. But this is my setup. I got some lights strung around the top. They're very small lights and you just throw like three AA batteries in each pack. But it lights up the top fine. Then I got a big light there. Well, just got some stickers on my truck as well. Well, if you guys are ever in the area, or if you guys ever see a truck with an extremely tall topper, and it has one of these great uh, Giant Truck and Outdoors stickers on the side, make sure you say hi if you're interested in such. Love to see my fans and get to know you guys, and or gals, or whoever you you people are be awesome to see who all watches my channel well if you guys are from different states please comment below this with just the state which you're watching from I would love to see how diversified my viewers are on my channel and where you guys are watching from or if even if it's a different country 
throw down the country or the area or province or wherever you're watching from. I would appreciate it. I'm going to get this fly rod set up and I'm going to get out fishing. Stay tuned. Well, I'm going to go ahead and unbox this fly rod here on camera. You guys can see what it looks like. Well, I'm six foot six. That rod's certainly above my head, so. I think it's eight foot. Oh, it's like Christmas morning right now. Not quite. But still fun to, I've had so many people ask me to use a fly rod on this channel, but I've just, if I'm using a fly rod, I want to use it for trout. And where I live out towards like Detroit area, it's not a good area for catching trout. Unless you have a big boat and you're fishing 100 feet deep down in Lake St. Clair or Lake Erie or Lake Huron, you're not actually going to catch trout. So that's why I've been putting this off and I've been putting out other awesome content, but I've been slightly putting this off and now I got some time. It's like, well, come up to the area try to catch a fish so looks like a very nice reel this is the floating line a group of kids showed up ran down there and they're quite uh quite talkative to say the least sounds like the kids are leaving with their parents so I can have some peace and quiet out here. They were a little loud and obnoxious, but at the same time, they're enjoying it out here, so good for them. Not quite sure what. That sounds like weird heron behind me. Well, got the rod set up. Well, I'm ready to get out fishing now. There's a heron down there squawking and making weird noises. But I'm going to get this truck packed up. We'll head down the river and get fishing. Hopefully I can catch a trout on this fly rod. And then it, I'll most likely be releasing it since I already got dinner plans for tonight. And then I'll probably drive back and hike in a couple miles and camp up for the night. Get a fire going. Living life. Loving it. If you guys have not subscribed yet to my channel, please go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. And subscribe to my channel. That will be awesome. Well, I'm going to get fishing. Well, just now heading off. On my trip. See you later, truck. Got my good old sandals on. Got my net beside me. Let's go catch some trout. Fly rod. I have this little nymph hooked up to it. Well, let's see. See how it goes. Man, is that beautiful? Any fishy fishies? Any fish anywhere? Please? Where's the fish? I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do it.
we are right up there at the suspension bridge so very nice trails i've hiked them a million times and if you guys live around the manistee river or want to travel over here go hike down these trails they're awesome it's beautiful out here let's go catch some fish Let me try this by the upstream. Oh. Got a little guy. Let me bring him in. Oops. Hopefully you guys can see it. Hey, what's up everyone? Just caught my first trout using the new fly rod. Let me show it to you guys. Got it here in the net. That's a beautiful brown trout. There he goes. You good? There you go. Brown trout swimming off. There's the rainbow trout. Very nice, probably 10, 11 inches, something like that. So I just tied on this like sand worm looking thing. So I'm gonna throw that out and see if it works at all. So we'll see. Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. Yes, let's go. Let's go fish on. Let me play him in. Hopefully you guys can see this. It's a little guy. But hey. There we go. 
There is a beautiful brown trout on the fly rod. Let me get my hands wet before I touch them. It was just on that worm looking thing. Let me release them now. You ready, buddy? Ready? Go. There he's going off. There was a fish right there. Yep, I'm on. I'm on. It's a little guy, but I'm on. I'm gonna play it super safe right now. Don't want the ink come in. Just want to bring him in. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a bluegill. Little bluegill. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that is not what I was hoping to see. Well, it's been pretty awesome fishing this evening. Just got four or five trout on this rod here. I think four were rainbow and one smaller brown trout. It was pretty fun. I was using a nymph uh, or a midge earlier today. Sorry, I don't know all the technical terms. Now I'm using like an orange San Juan worm and worked pretty well in the last couple fish, but it is certainly gorgeous this evening. The sun has already gone down and I need to go figure out where I'm going to camp and get my tent set up and get some food going. I am ravenous and I need to start hurrying. So I'm going to pack up and head up these banks here back to the truck and hop on the road and drive around to wherever I'm going to camp out for tonight and get some food rolling. So. Oh, I'm so glad I got this fly rod. It's awesome. I'm like super happy right now getting some trout. It would be one thing if I got a rod and I got skunked every single time, but thankfully that was not today. So, I'm only get going. Heading back to the truck now. Is this the normal driving lights? Let me show you my bright lights. Yes. <laughs> it's crazy. It'll really make us night in today. I mean, it's insane how bright it is. I just arrived at the area I'll be camping out tonight. Just packed up a bunch of gear and I'm going to hike on down and get some dinner going. So, truck's there behind me. It's all locked up for the night. I'm going to get hiking. See you shortly. Well, I got the tent set up. I got my stuff inside. Now, I need to go get firewood. These little sticks right here, perfect for starting fires. Well, that branch just hit me. Got enough to start a fire. Well, let's get this fire started. Okay. 
Got a little fire going. Well, I got a fire going now. Put off some good amount of heat. Well, it's been an awesome evening. I'm going to go ahead and get some uh, food cooked up. And I thought, what is more traditional than having some hot dogs over the fire? So, brought some hot dogs and some buns and some ketchup and mustard. And then I brought uh, some s'mores for dessert. I'll be hitting the hay and come back out to trout fishing with a fly rod tomorrow. It's a little chilly out here. I love the fire. Oh, let's start roasting them. Pretty well done. <laughs> this back one might need a little bit more time. Try and pull them off without getting burnt. Quite interesting noise. <laughs> Catch. Yeah. There we go. Well, I'm quite hungry. Those are really good after all the camping and hiking and fishing I've done so far today. I know I just gobbled that one down. <laughs> Quite hungry. I think on the second one I'll take my time. Hey. Probably doesn't look very aesthetic, but it won't look very aesthetic once it's in my uh, stomach anyway. So. Still tastes fine. Well, the fire just died down. You'll see the coals right there, so it's perfect for. Uh, Making the s'mores. So we got some marshmallows. We got some chocolate. All right, get it right there. And now I got a couple graham crackers. Certainly don't need all the rest of this. But that's the smallest that came in. Just bags like that. So use what I need tonight. Should be a good snack, <laughs> good dessert. Let's get this roasted. I don't like setting them on fire, I just want them to get browned all around. I 
hate it when they keep on turning in a circle and you can't. Brown, the other side. Well, guess that's going to be as dull as they're going to get. Try and do this one handed right now. Set the other one up like that. Hopefully that a marshmallow will warm up that chocolate. I know it's all across my lips. How much you see this marshmallow? There's nothing like just a crispy marshmallow by itself. Well, I'm on packing in for the night. Fire's dying down. It's a good thing. To my humble abode. I love this tent. It's so big that I have space to stretch out. I have space for everything. now so good night well good morning everyone crows were just calling and woke me up so yesterday got really I don't know what's weird it started getting warm maybe it was just the fire I started getting so hot from I switched into a t-shirt and a pair of shorts and now it's like 50 degrees out it's cold I just got all bundled up here in my uh, sleeping bag. Slept pretty well. Probably got about six, seven, eight hours of sleep. So, if we go sleep, I'll take that any day. Well, I'm going to get up and get some breakfast going and then I'll get out fishing. Well, good morning everyone. It's about 50 degrees out right now and it is a beautiful day. I want to show you guys the scenery behind me, but you didn't get to see last night just due to being so dark. Here's my tent and there's the river down there. All those trout and fish in it. And it's cold. There's some fog up there. I'm shaking. So I'm going to go ahead and get this fire restarted if possible. And get some breakfast going. And then I'm going to get out fishing. See how it goes. So I just lifted this log up and we got some coals right there. So I'm going to go ahead and serve this up. And make sure the coals are right there. I'm going to take all these sticks out here. 
stick them here in this area. Those leaves should start smoldering. Well, I finally got a fire going. Going quite nicely as well. It's beautiful out here. Oh, my fire. It's so warm. <laughs> that was a good chunk of wood. There we go. Awesome. A lot of work splitting wood. But hey, all for the right cause. Cooking up breakfast. The fire's not doing too well. What's up everyone? Good morning. John here with Johnny Trucking Outdoors. Hope you guys are having a great day. Got the fire going behind me, ready to cook up some bacon and eggs for breakfast. Spent the night in the tent back there I'll show you real quick I'm trying to focus on it right now but you might see that little thing up in the sky that dot up in the sky is my drone Oopsie, I was not paying attention. I just landed my drone up in that tree. Hopefully nothing's messed up with it. See it flashing its light up there. It looks fine, but at the same time, I hope no propellers or whatever else could be messed up. So. Well, big oops there. I would just fly in quickly since it said it was on low battery and I've been flying it throughout this entire weekend and filming all my spots I'm camping out or awesome views or whatever else. And next thing you know, I just brought it in from out there over the river past my campsite and wasn't paying attention. It was on a P mode. And it flew right into this thing and it started dropping and I couldn't do anything about it so I thought it was landing that's the weird thing with this drone here if you move the toggle stick to go down like twice in a row or three times in sequence or something else to like have it lower down it will think it's landing and then it'll come straight down to the ground and I'll just try and lower the elevation slightly. Next thing you know, it thinks it's landing and it came down and just landed around the trees. I'm gonna hop up there and I certainly crashed the drone in the tree. Let's try to get it out now.
my drone. Looks like it's fine. Well, I just got my drone out. Looks like it's fine, it's not damaged at all. Do need to check out the gimbal. Propellers look fine, surprisingly enough. But need to make sure that there's no uh, cracks or anything I don't see where this could, like, I don't know, blow up in the middle of the sky. I don't know. So I'm gonna try to fly. It only has like 10% battery left. But I'm gonna try to fly it for a quick second up off the ground, make sure it's good. Well, that's nice to know that my drone is not broken. I'm going to turn that off promptly. So that's going to have to get charged. So I just want to let everyone know, this video of me camping out here and catching fish with my fly rod and everything else, it's going to be a longer video than a video I normally put out on my channel. The normal videos I put on my channel will be anywhere between 10 minutes and 16 minutes, preferably. It could be up to 20 minutes on a rare occasion, 25 on extremely rare, but this video will probably be a lot longer, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. And hey, if you want to help me out with watch time on this channel, since I'm not yet monetized, watch the whole thing. Right after this, I'm going to go out trout fishing and try to... I'm going to bring my fly rod plus my spinning rod. I'm going to cook up breakfast now. I got some uh, bacon and some eggs and some sausage. Orange juice. Good American camp in the woods meal. So, let's get going. Well, I hope you guys like my little rack. I took a piece of metal that you could use for a grill. It looks like that. And I skewered my uh, marshmallow or hot dog uh, stick through it. Since that's two prongs and it's pretty stable. I'm hoping I can lay across those boards there and just rest around there on this log down here and be able to cook my bacon. So, that I picked up. Bacon is like really juicy. Let me see if this works. I picked up some sausage as well. This is the Bob Evans pork maple flavor. If I can try cut open with a plastic knife. <laughs> Seems like it's working now. I'm gonna throw a couple balls out. Guess that'll work. Well, this is what my platter looks like. Four pieces of bacon, three patties of uh, maple sausage. That is perfect right there. Hopefully it doesn't start them on fire. But got a little cold underneath. Should be good. So I picked up these cups and they shrink all together nice and flat. Then they pop out from Walmart. And they even have like, oh, Something's burning. That's okay. okay. And they have all these measurements down the side from two cups to a fourth a cup, which is super handy. But I'm going to drink out this as well.
that's how it work. Let's get this flipped. Ooh, that was a close save right there. Well, at least I didn't lose anything. Well, what I was saying earlier before the fire distracted me with everything falling in the fire or burning or whatever else is this cup is perfect for measurements everything else I'm willing to pour myself some that orange juice I've never drank through one of these before doesn't have that weird lip it's pretty good Well, I'm going to get some eggs cooking for breakfast. Oops, a little bit of my bacon burning. Look how those came out. Looking good. Let me flip them. Yeah, here we go. Just got to smoke them eyes. A little crispier than what I would wish, but hey, still be good for breakfast. Well, I'm gonna get some eggs going. Got a non stick pan. My question is which way is the smoke going? So it keeps on changing up its mind. Oh yeah, my goodness. Oh yeah, that's that's awesome. A little extra protein on my eggs. I am having an amazing day. Love it out here. My uh, hands and eye coordination is on par today. <laughs> See, now now it's going the other way. I'm gonna stand back here, mix up my eggs. And then I'll go up there and put it in place. Should start cooking there. Well, finally got breakfast cooked up. Extremely hungry. Okay. What are you talking about? <laughs> Everything's like falling and messing up on me, but try a bit of breakfast. A smoke. Get off my food fly. Well, I'm gonna finish up. I'm gonna take the tent down. I'm gonna get out fishing. See you guys at the river. Well, I just put out the fire, so make sure you guys are cleaning up after yourselves and leaving it better than what it looks prior. Taking all the trash out. Don't leave a fire, you don't want this forest to burn down. Certainly a beautiful forest. 
Well, even out in the woods, you still need to stay hygienic. brush my teeth. Well, I'm heading out on my uh, fishing trip now. I brought the fly rod and I brought a spinning rod. So, spinning reel on a rod. And that rod, it's one of my nicest rods I've ever bought in my life. It's a HMX Fenwick. Should be, it doesn't say anything else, but should be at least seven foot, 10 inches, something like that, which is a medium, I think medium heavy with a light tip action or something else. It's for steelhead and trout. It's an extremely large rod and it's really good. Correct me if I'm wrong, but probably see it there, Sound like H. MX. Hoping I catch something. So I threw back on a pair of shorts just because I'll probably walk out in the water, but you gotta be careful back here in the woods just because I've already seen poison ivy, poison oak, and there's thing now right there. Yeah. <laughs> Certainly do not want to be touching any of that. Very fun. Oh, something. Walking down through this trail with sandals on. Water's looking good. Well, water could be looking good, but let's catch some fish. Then it'll be looking really good. Talking about a view, this looks like it's going to be a good one. Oh yeah. Wow. You can see all the way down that water. The water's pretty clear. Well, I'm going to get fishing. Should be able to even see like if a fish is swimming through there. Yeah, it's super clear. Oh. Come on people, clean up your trash. Don't leave trash out here. Sure we don't want an animal or fish getting in its mouth and just clean up after yourselves. I did put out the fire before I left, which is always a good thing to do. Don't want to start a forest fire. You should leave the place better than what it was before. Got this beautiful stream here. I thought this would be a neat thing to share with you guys. All these holes here are from a pileated woodpecker that makes a rectangle hole. And then the scrolls and raccoons chew into it and you can see the knot in there as well. 
Those woodpeckers sure make a lot of damage on trees. There's holes all around here. It's beautiful out today. Quite steep around here. Sandals is not the appropriate wear. But hey, I'm ready for the water. If I need to wait out or whatever else. If my socks get wet, oh well. Look at all these fall leaves. That's crazy. Ball's here, love it. Had one follow, no bites. But hey, I might move down to the suspension bridge just because I sort of know since I caught a bunch of fish there yesterday that there's trout in there. It would just be a better chance for me catching fish. It's like heading out to a river. Yes, this is a beautiful spot in the river and everything else, but I mean, my goal here is to catch fish and have fun as well and practice this. Which I mean, I certainly, I'm no pro at this at all, obviously, but. Those are more like decasts, and then I'm just mending my line. Hang out a bit more line and just keep on mending it. Well, I fished for 30 minutes to an hour. I only had one follow from a trout that was probably a good eight, nine inches long, not too big. I couldn't tell if it was a brown or rainbow trout, but I was using this uh, nymph here, this midge, whatever it's called. Sorry, I don't know all the technical terms of such, but Certainly getting better at my casting. I haven't been fly fishing here in the last couple of years, so. Been a little bit of a learning curve, though I do know the techniques and 
just de-rolling casting or casting out straight or mending your line or stuff like that so there's not much fish that I'm seeing around here and even though it's a gorgeous area here on the river I think it's better if I just go ahead and head on back to the suspension bridge where I was catching those trout yesterday and hike up and down try to catch some trout on this fly rod here there's gonna be a lot of little guys that I might have to eat through that will still be fun but hopefully we can catch some big ones as well so stay tuned I'm gonna head out that way look how clear this water is I mean it is like crystal clear I'm just using the five and sixth weight with the midge fly you guys can tell me in the comments below with a couple sinkers and then a float but it's an eight foot rod it's gorgeous out here already some fall leaves in the water <laughs> beautiful well i'm going to go ahead and pack up my gear It's absolutely gorgeous out here. So here's the camp sign trail, right? Here's the suspension bridge. I was catching those fish. And where I am is right, I'm right here. That's where I am currently. So I'm gonna go ahead, hop out here drive up to the suspension bridge up here and try to fish for some trout but there's an awesome hiking trail that goes right along the river here all the way to the bottom it's about 12 miles long and then there's another one out here but it's way back from the river and not super scenic at all i recommend this one but make sure you pick up your trash make sure you all your campfires are dead Guys, just remember, pick up your trash out here. Leave it better than what it looked like prior. And you don't want Smokey the Bear calling you out on your fires, so make sure you put them out. Well, I'm gonna get my uh, fly rod and my other rod packed up, head out to the suspension bridge. Let's go. Well, I just arrived at the dam. I'm going to figure out the, how to get down here. Guess this is the South Tailwater Access. Danger, when siren sounds, leave river immediately. Well, Water is slightly crazy. Try to catch a fish. Come on, come on, fish, fish, fish. Come on, fish. Trout on, yes, yes, yes. 
Come on, buddy. Come on. Look at here, got a trout. On the fly rod, let's go and net you. Nice, nice, nice. Got a trout on the fly rod, let's go. Okay, so then, I need to get my hands wet first. Okay, so good. Fish on! Got a fish on the fly rod! Come here, buddy. Oh, it's a smallmouth. That's what it is. Man, there's like a multi-species here. Oops, smallmouth on the fly rod. A little small enough. There you go, buddy. I'm not gonna chug them right here, or you'll fall on the rocks. I don't want them space. I'm on. Oh, it just got off. Thanks, man. See if I can catch it again. So I do want to give back to you guys as well on this channel since you guys keep on watching my content and subscribing and liking my videos and everything else. So I want to make a contest. I will be giving out a $50 Cabela's gift card for the winner and a $25 gift card for the runner up. So during this video here either on signs or on uh, trees or in brush or whatever else. There will be uh, two separate, either signs or number plates or whatever else, with a four digit code on it. And it's not like I'm just going and just going, hey, everyone just check out my channel and you automatically get this. I wanna make it so you guys need a uh, watch my content and stay tuned and plugged in to such and you you guys will certainly have a chance on winning either the $50 Cabela's gift card or the $25 runner-up Cabela's gift card so watch this video you'll probably somewhere in this video I'll show two different signs on either the street or back in the brush or wherever I'm hiking, camping around, flying a drone, something else like that. Write down those numbers, then head to, make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you're not subscribed to my channel, you're not winning it at all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, then head over to my Instagram or Facebook. You can hit the about section on my YouTube channel and just tap the link and it'll take you straight over to my social media and just private message me and go, hey, here's the two codes. And once I get a list of everyone who's private messaged me and they've subscribed to my channel, as well as checked me out on a social media page, either Facebook or Instagram, either one works depending on what you guys have and what's easier for you guys. I do remember going to my about, uh, section under YouTube page and you can find the link that will take you straight over to your social media to message me privately and just throw in those numbers and go hey can I enter a win or whatever else I'm going to probably run this for about a full month and at the end of a month from the day I release this video I'm going to go through and whoever private messaged me with the numbers if the codes are correct and you guys have subscribed to my youtube channel i will go ahead and either do like a spin the wheel or have like a code uh something generator on the app or phone i'll get on video as well and i'll spin it once and find the winner who will get the 50 dollar gift card 
and spin again and find the runner up. And then you guys will get the gift card also. Give me a quick second. And I'm going to grab a magnet and a sticker for either a vehicle. Like you can see right here on the side of my truck. This is Giant Trucking Outdoors where I have a magnet. Let me show you that. So this is what I got. I got a magnet. It says Giant Trucking Outdoors. You can go on your fridge. You can go on your vehicle. It will stick directly to the side of your vehicle or your back if you don't want to put a sticker on it. Or you could throw this on your fridge and throw this sticker on the side of your vehicle or on a cooler you take out fishing or whatever else. As well as I'll send you a card that I'll either type up or write out a message to you and just thanking you for staying tuned to my channel. So. If you guys would go ahead and watch this footage and then go ahead and make sure to subscribe to my channel and message me on either uh, Facebook or Instagram under the private messenger there directly to myself and go, hey, I watched the video. Here are the two codes, you know, you'll be entered, month goes on by, then I'll be giving out the gift cards as well as these things and the letter. I'm gonna stop rambling, but just wanna let you guys know, I do wanna be giving back to uh, my fans and everyone who is supporting me and watching and viewing my video. I know this video is gonna be a little bit longer than the other videos out there, but currently I do need about 1,400 hours of watch time till I can get monetized on YouTube. So, if you want to roll this a couple times and play it a couple times, help me out that way, that would be awesome. But I need 1,400 hours, which is a lot of hours, but at the same time, you know, it's a work in progress. One step at a time, one video at a time. As always, stay outdoors and stay amazing. I'm gone.